that he has brought forth for us. Continue his work. Father in heaven, God be we thank you, O oh Lord, that our gathering is together like this so we can worship thee and hear thy word together. And we thank you for this offering thou has brought forth. God be good. I pray now, Lord, that thou would bless this and use it. We give it cheerfully into thy work. Thank you. And, oh God, we give thee glory and praise for it. And we thank thee in Jesus' name. Praise you, man. Amen. 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 Okay. So I've got one good eye. Reasonably good. Praise God. But you know what? I would never quit. Amen. I'd preach blind if I had to. Come on. Amen. This work is my entire life. And I give God glory for all that He has done. What we're going to do is continue on where I left off three weeks ago. Is it three or four? Is it four weeks? We did uh, Matthew chapter 25, the Sermon on the Mount. We want to move on to chapter 26. Praise the Lord. Oh, Matthew 6? We did five. Yep. Yep, we did five. I appreciate your ongoing prayers. Uh, this may take a little while to get through this, but maybe not. But just keep praying, and, and uh, I'm going to keep working. Yes. So I've got one good eye, I've got a magnifier, and some glasses also. So we'll, we'll make it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank thee, Lord, for thy holy word today. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We know in these strange times we need thee so very much. Help us, O oh Lord, to understand thy word and to understand the, the teachings that thou hast given us, that we might please thee in all that we do as we live in thy sight. Guide and direct us, O oh Lord, in all ways. Let thy perfect will be done. Now, Lord, open our ears, open our eyes, open our understanding. Send forth, O oh Lord, the miracles of thy kingdom and help us to open our hearts to receive them. Let faith be great as we go into thy word and help us to treasure it in our hearts. And now we thank thee for it. Help us as we study thy word together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to his name. All right. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 6, of course we are looking at three chapters here. This is one of the greatest, it has to be the greatest, I think, message ever delivered. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke this, all these words as he went up into a mountain. And the people listened intently. And there's such power in what he has to say. And I appreciate the, the powerful words of Jesus Christ. I cling to them. Right. in these strange and weird days we're living in. Have you noticed it lately? Have you looked around out there? You know, heaven and earth are shaking. The, the, uh, down in the Gulf of Mexico, they can't control this oil that comes gushing out of there and uh, polluting everything all over the place. Over in uh, the European Union, the whole, the whole Europe, European Union is shaking right now financially and and they don't know what's going to happen to it because the nation of Greece is in is totally broke, has bankrupted a portion of the euro, which has sent shockwaves through the euro, and now uh, they don't know what they're going to do. It could be the end, beginning of the end for the euro. If it's the beginning of the end for the euro, the euro will be replaced electronically, I have no doubt. <laughs> 
And then that little stunt that happened last week at, on Wall Street. A trillion dollars disappeared. A trillion. A trillion. Can you imagine? Of course, in the uh, Obama administration, trillions, he throws those around right and left. But, but these are times when our country is crumbling around us, our world, yeah. the world is shaking. Uh, we've got some kind of a, a strange object out in space right now that's kicking out asteroids. It's hiding over behind uh, uh, Jupiter somewhere. Moves around out that way. And it's it's uh, literally hurling asteroids out into our solar system. NASA is trying to figure out what to do about it. I'd like to see them try. Yeah. <laughs> but all of these things sound so much like the book of Revelation being fulfilled. So I'll tell you what, I'm excited about that. Amen. All right. I am glad to know my Savior is returning soon. Uh, yeah. yes. Couldn't be soon enough, anytime, even so, come Lord Jesus. Yeah. Now, in, uh, there's so much more could be said about that. Uh, the new newsletter is out. We got the newsletter out. It was one week late, but we got it out. Praise the Lord. Anyway, in uh, Matthew chapter 6, Jesus said, Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have your reward. Isn't hmm, this interesting? I got I got some interesting things to say about this one. <laughs> he says, "Take heed that ye do not your alms before men, to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee." as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have the glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Oh, by the way, you know, he's not, when Jesus mentions these uh, trumpets sounding, he's not being facetious here at all. They literally did that. Right. Some of the, uh, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the, the richer upper crust, you know. Right. And of course, you know my definition of the upper crust. It's just a bunch of crumbs to held together with a lot of dough, see. Yeah. <laughs> but, but anyway, when they would go and give money, they wanted everybody to know it to the extent they made a parade out of it. They literally sounded trumpets, announced how much they were going to give, and paraded up there and gave it, proud as a peacock. And Jesus said that was absolutely, they might have well kept it. That it was absolutely worthless. In any, there would be no blessing whatsoever. Because they were making an open show of what a good person they were. Oh, yeah. And I'm convinced that you and I as Christians shouldn't have to advertise the fact that we're a Christian. It should be clearly seen. Sure, you don't have to wear a big name tag saying, Hi, I am a Christian. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we are living epistles, no one a rat of all men. Let the ungodly, let the evil people call you a Christian. They're the ones who invented the word. Uh -huh. You know, they, they looked at these that followed the Lord Jesus and they said they called them Christians. Right. Because they were Christ-like. And so uh, the concepts get twisted and turned all the time. But in this case, they want their giving to be known. They want everybody to see it. But we understand that the ways of God are different than the ways of men. Yes. I remember one time there was a... I was somewhere. I don't have a, a television. I... Uh, Disconnected that thing up quite a while, a long time ago. But yeah, anyway, I was somewhere 